Hey guys, what's up? Mike242 here. I got a very nice watch for you. Uh, well, for my standards anyway. This is a very nice oriental watch. It came in a very nice case. I'm actually surprised that the case is very nice. I got this from jamshop.ca, no, dot com, sorry. And let's open it. Okay. So, uh, this is... I don't know the model number. No oh, here's the model number right here. I'll read it off. Actually, you know what? I'll just show you too. There you go. Comes with a nice pillow. It's actually a change because most pillows are like really actual shit. Um, first impressions. Very, very nice looking. Lots of polish. I think pretty well this whole watch is polished aside from the links uh, the bezel is polished get you a good look at it there it's a chronograph so pretty nice watch here and it does have it is a weird feature here at the very top at the 12 hour mark it's the big date not a lot of watches have that, and I think that's pretty cool. And it's, you know, Orient does some weird things. Um, and uh, this is one of them that I like because it's, you know, it's not, it's not an everyday thing you'd see, and uh, it's nice when they change up the watch look a little bit, you know, to give it a little bit of a unique look. And I think this almost looks like a Tag Heuer watch. If you're familiar with watches, you know that brand. Uh, they're, they're somewhat of a luxury brand. But uh, that's, I think that's actually why I bought this watch. I was going to get a Tag Heuer, but I was like, why spend like $2,000 when I can get a lot of other watches for not a lot amount of money? And probably the quality is still going to be better than Tag Heuer. But, um,. Yes, so uh, wristwatch check. This is the one I'm actually going to be giving my nephew today. Uh, it's the uh, Tavis Submariner. Uh, or Subclone, whatever you want to call it. But uh, it's a pretty good watch. It doesn't really fit me. The uh, links won't allow it to be any tighter. So I'm going to give it to him. Uh, Yes, so let's get on to the other watch. Put this back in its case. I'll go more in depth on these other watches later, but for now, we are going to the pool today. So, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Another Orient watch. Let's open it and see what's up. And again, I am greeted with the nice case. I'm still surprised by it. And let's open it. Hello. This is actually one of probably my favorite watches. I've never had a watch that has the open heart function. I think it's really cool. It's also an automatic watch. And if I'm not mistaken, that's real gold. Well, that's what the manufacturers say anyway. Orient is a pretty reliable company, but... I think I bought this probably around 200 US, so that's a lot of money Canadian. Um, pretty nice, I'm not even sure if this is a real alligator, it's probably just stamped. Yes, it is stamped alligator leather strap. It is real leather strap, but it's just stamped to make it look like alligator. Because it is, alligator is very expensive. This is an automatic watch. It does have the open heart movement. And um, I'm very surprised by the weight of this. Maybe it's because of the gold, but it's pretty heavy for, you know, a watch with leather straps. And uh, let's see, it's the movement is F6. T22, I'm not sure if that's a movement or that's just the code they got on there, 
this is water resistant to five bar so that's not you don't want to take this anywhere what that means guys is 50 meters so don't even take this in the shower because first of all you're gonna ruin the liver on it and uh, yeah I think this is an amazing this is this is a great dress watch or even just an everyday watch if you, if you can pull this off with the gold We'll put it on the wrist here. We, the other one we didn't, but yeah. We'll put this one on the wrist. If I can take off this. There we go. Oh, that's even gold. That's pretty cool. This is going to take some breaking in to do, but... There we go, guys. On the wrist. Pretty nice.